there's a show people keep saying we need to watch. I haven't seen it. I caught like maybe 10 minutes of it. It's called Snowfall. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at the trailer and see if this is something we need to start diving into. I've been beaten. I ain't going nowhere. nowhere, nowhere. Locked up. Even shot. I ain't going nowhere. nowhere, nowhere. Just like this product. I ain't going nowhere. February 24th. Hmm. Well, damn. They look like they done got Larry. What? Oh, okay. He had to go refill his 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 margarita. <laughs> Cheers, man. Shalom. <laughs> so, T streams. Tell me what you know about Snowfall, and should we be trying to review it season four? I know absolutely nothing. Okay. okay. I never. I, I never. I never seen the show. Uh, I've heard of it. I've seen the previews, uh, but I've never, you know, I've, I've never watched it. Okay, uh, to be to be perfectly honest, man, I, outside of Power Man, I don't, I, I don't even know if I even touch my TV. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, I, I'm I'm glad that I'm glad to be a part of this uh, this 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 panel here. You you guys are opening me up to some new things on the tube. And I, I guess while we're dealing with the, the, the shutdown and, and, you know, trying to be at home a little bit more, you know, I guess it's a good option. It looks like it. And well, it all, all the previews that I've seen, it always looked like a, like a, like it's a probably a pretty decent show. Look like it's uh, I don't I, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I, I haven't did any research or anything like that, but it looks like it's it's about, you know, uh, you know, uh, dope game back, you know, a few years back in maybe. L.A. At the okay. start of like the crack cocaine in LA. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So you know those. You know those. Those. Those things are 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 relatable. So I, I definitely can see uh, trying to check it out, especially if it has. Uh, especially if it has. Uh, you know things that that us men like. Uh, guns, action. You know, pretty faces. You know, stuff <laughs> like that. Yeah. Okay, Larry. What do you know about it? Now, the only thing I know is the young man that plays the main character, I've seen him in some other shows. He can act his butt off. But what do you know about Snowfall? Yeah, man, I watch it. Snowfall's in my regular rotation. So What? Yeah, man. And you've been I, holding out? No, <laughs> no, I told you to watch this show like two years ago. <laughs> you know? So, so let me get this straight, Larry. Let, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. You've been watching Snowfall. Uh-huh. You know everything that's going on. Uh-huh. And you ready for season four? Ready. So right. you in essence, what you're telling me is you're calling me out, telling me I got one month to watch all four seasons, which means I had to watch a whole season every week, get caught up, do my homework so that I can get up here and give people a good review and break down along with you. Yeah, man, you got to catch up. It's dope, though. You'll like it. It's not going to feel painful at all. It's not going to be one of those things where you're like, uh, no, you're gonna, it's, you'll fly right through it. It's good. Okay. And you'll like, you'll like what's her name? The chick, I think her name is, what's her name? Her name is, um, she plays Auntie Lou, Auntie Louie, I think it is. Auntie Louie. Or, anyways, her name, her real name is Angela Lewis. But she, you and I could both like her because she looks like a skinnier version of Mercedes. And I like driving oh. cars. Yeah, I like just imagine cars. Mercedes look with the fit that I like. Yeah, 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 you know? yeah, yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to hold y'all accountable. Y'all are going to have to help me usher through four seasons before the end, the middle of February so that can be the next show me and Larry bounce to. Now, this is set in the 80s. It's set in the 80s, so, so be prepared for some jerry curls. Cause you know, I, 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 Larry, I caught I caught like an episode of the first yeah. season, and I it didn't suck me in immediately. It really didn't. You you this is the thing you have to watch that show because there are some parts of it that are a little bit slow. It feels like because they do a lot of character development in there, right? But the thing that I love about it is the black the 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 young black dude that plays the main character. He plays uh Franklin Saint. Yeah. That dude's character is so smart. 
But look, I mean, he is so. I mean, he is. He when you look at him, he's one of those people that when you see when you see them and you say, "My God, why couldn't this dude? Why couldn't somebody pluck him up out of this madness and put him in charge of a hedge fund or something?" Because this dude is a genius. I mean. He's so smart. He's so business savvy. And, you know, this is it, it's based off. So supposedly it's sort of loosely based off the life of uh, Freeway Ricky Ross. And so you see him dealing with the CIA and, you know, and, and other and other government agencies. And, and it's amazing because he's, you know, I mean, these are this is a dude this is a young street dude. And this is a dude that's basically recognizing who he's dealing with and telling people, yo, I know you work for the CIA. And the dude's like, I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, yo. You're a knock agent, and I just figured you out. You know, mm. I mean, the dude, it, it's it's an amazing, amazing show, and it, it really is because you see, it's not like the other characters are dumb at all, but he's just on such another level. Like the other characters are very street smart and mm. very street savvy, and this dude is street savvy, but he's also he's able to deal with. He's a, he's able to deal with people on multiple levels, from the street level to the cartel level to the government level to the you know to just regular business. He's this dude is so, I mean he's his confidence level is so high. He's you know it's just I mean he could at one point in one of the seasons I'm not gonna give much away, but the, in one of these things they basically said yo you're coming with us. He thought he was going to make a deal. Instead, they decided they were going to fly him out of the country to go meet the uh, the cartel dudes because he was bring he was selling so much dope. The cartels were like, "We want to meet who who is this kid? We never heard of him. He's pushing so much of our weight. We want to know who he is." Mm-hmm. So they flew him out there. You know, a normal person would be scared, and this dude's just rolling up there like, "Yo, what's up? Okay, now you know who I am. Can we double those shipments?" And they were like, what? "You know, I think I saw that part." Um, but I also couldn't figure this out, two streams. And I'm going to move on so we can get you back in the conversation. In the first season when I was watching, you had somebody working with the FBI who had somebody fly him somewhere. And then I think the pilot kicked the bucket or got sick. And this FBI agent was in the desert, had to fend for himself. What the hell was all that about, Larry? That was, I believe that was the guy's brother. The CIA agent has a brother who's a pilot and he uses him off. He does. He uses his brother for off book, uh, for off book, um, you know, uh, missions and such. And mm-hmm. so his, but his brother has a drug problem. So he's always, okay. he's okay. always messing up. I'm a, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to try it. I hopefully T streams will follow and um, we'll, we'll make this thing happen in February, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, now we're gonna, a good show. 